Today's lecture is the last lecture for chapter 1. In the first few lectures for this chapter, we discussed the first law of thermodynamics and its implications for work, heat and change in energy. We extended these considerations to the case of isobaric processes, where we introduced the concept of enthalpy. In the last three lectures, we focused on chemical reactions and described four different methods for the determination of standard reaction enthalpies, namely the experimental approach called adiabatic bond calorimetry, the use of mean bond enthalpies, the use of Hess's law, and finally the very reliable method based on substance formation enthalpies. In today's lecture, we will describe how we may calculate the standard reaction enthalpy at a temperature that differs from 298.15 Kelvin, the temperature at which formation enthalpies are usually reported. The relationship between standard reaction enthalpies at different temperatures is known as the Kirchhoff's law. We will then discuss the conditions under which the Kirchhoff's law really matters and show how we might recover the results of this law using an alternate method, which I personally call the cycle method. The cycle method will be shown to be especially important in chapters 2 and 3 for calculations of entropy and free energy changes. We conclude this lecture and this chapter with a review and a summary of the equations necessary for the calculations of work heat, change in energy, and change in enthalpy for chemical reactions.